what is going on guys and welcome to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Road to Royalty and this time I have changed stuff up I have changed stuff up this is not a live recording anymore this is a I'm talking over the playback of the video and I wanted to do this for several reasons the number one reason is that I seem to play poorly when I talk like when I do a live recording I seem to do a lot worse <laughs> than when I am doing this right now if I'm silent playing video games I seem to do much better and in these next few recordings I guess I do average and then a bit better than that so thank you um, for supporting this and if you do like this new setup please leave a huge like I will appreciate it greatly the next reason I wanted to do a live recording is to kind of get more connected to you guys. I want to talk more to you instead of the game while you're watching the game so I can get more of a personal connection with you guys and at the same time go through this Road to Royalty series and I think it's just a very good change and once again if you like the change please leave a huge like. I will really appreciate it. I really want to know what your feedback is. Comment in the comment section. See what you I want to see what your opinions are about it, and that will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So, Black Ops 3, huh? Black Ops 3 has been announced about a week ago, I think, and it is looking amazing. Now, I wanted to show the trailer, but I didn't want to get fucking copyright flagged and shit, so I just decided to do this and just talk about it. So, for the past call... Let's see. Let me see. I, I pre-ordered Modern Warfare 3. Let's see. Yeah, Modern Warfare 3 is when I really started my Call of Duty kind of gameplay career, I guess you could say. That's like the first Call of Duty that I started making videos for. Well, actually, Call of Duty goes... Eh, it depends. But Modern Warfare 2, that my brother introduced me to Modern Warfare 2. And that was such a great game. I have fucking like 16, 17 days of gameplay on it. And I, I love that game. I played it so much with my friends, so much by myself. I just had a blast with that game. And I loved it. Then Black Ops came out, and I really wasn't that impressed. The only reason my brother got it was because of zombies. He didn't want the multiplayer at all. So he started playing zombies, and I picked it up, and I just start, I started playing a multiplayer and then some zombies. I was more into multiplayer than zombies at the moment for Black Ops. And I actually got pretty decent using the FAMAS. Of course, everybody uses the FAMAS, so that's not really a surprise. But after I started playing multiplayer a lot, I, I, I kind of got into it. I didn't, overall, I didn't like the game compared to Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 just blew Black Ops out of the water. It wasn't even close. And after that, I started playing some zombies. I didn't really get into zombies that much until Black Ops 2. After that, I really started playing zombies a lot. So, Black Ops came out. I started playing that. And Modern Warfare 3 came out. And I thought that was the freaking best game ever like just looking at the advertisements for it I thought it looked sick and really like all the kill streaks and perks and classes and stuff that really confused me it took me a while to understand what was going on here so that that is very nice and I thought Modern Warfare 3 was going to be a great game pre-ordered it got the season pass I got everything you can get for it and I actually thought Modern Warfare 3 is the second best Call of Duty out there I I had so much fun with Modern Warfare 3. I love the fact about upgrading your uh, weapon to gold, the way that you can upgrade it. I don't like the other ways that you get gold. Like in this game you have to get 200 kills without attachments or without perks or something like that. And that I mean that doesn't require skill. You just need to get basic kills. For to get gold in Modern Warfare 3, you actually had to play with it a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean hours and hours of gameplay just to get that gold camo and it looks so sick in Modern Warfare 3 the PP90 M1 I was a fucking boss with that gun I got gold on that every prestige and I I was running through the prestiges in Modern Warfare 3 and I really liked it I just kept going I think right now I'm at 15th prestige I never got all the way up to 20 but that's just because Black Ops 2 came out before I could get there and note that I I am in school right now, so that's the reason why I can't play Call of Duty 24-7, and that's why I'm not 20th prestige in like a fucking month. So I, I really don't have that much time to play, but when I did have the opportunity to play, I played it a lot, especially over the weekends and then with friends. So 
Modern Warfare 3, I had a lot of fun with it. Then, Black Ops 2 came out. I saw the coming attractions, or advertisement, or whatever the fuck you call it. And I mean, I thought it looked pretty nice. I really did. So, I pre-ordered it. I think... I don't know, I think I got the season pass with it, the DLC, and everything. I pre-ordered it, got all the bonuses for that. And I started playing it, and I thought the the multiplayer... I, I had a really good start. I was using the Vector and PDW, and I, I got into a really good role with it. And like the first few days of me playing it, I was really good. But then, after a while, after a few uh, days of gameplay, I kind of got out of the multiplayer and started playing zombies and zombies that's when I started my zombies gameplay so that is really nice so actually the game is over so I will continue this conversation in the next video thank you for watching if you love this new idea please leave a like comment and I will see you in the next episode